No more behavior in dogs. Pacing. Pacing in dogs is referring to repetitive behavior. Pacing is when a dog is walking back and forth in an area without any clear purpose or need, <clears throat> showing its emotional state. The dog may be feeling anxious or stressed, but it can also show when a dog is anticipating something, such as a treat or going for a walk. A study of 386 dogs found that 16% of pacing and panting was more of a response to fear. Junctive behaviour. Pacing is mostly known as being a junctive behaviour. When they are anxious, it is a coping mechanism for them. It helps them to manage stress or the anxiety they are feeling. This is because pacing is a repetitive action that doesn't have any obvious purpose other than trying to help loosen the feelings a dog has. Behavioural needs. In captivity, dogs may not be able to perform different behaviours that are essential for their psychological and physical well-being. This can then lead to pacing as well as other abnormal behaviours. Exploration and foraging. Foraging. Dogs are inquisitive animals who are always curious about what is going on. They explore the world by sniffing and investigating and they like to forage to find food. The impact of dogs being restricted is that if there's a limited space for them to carry this behaviour, then they may get frustrated and it can cause a dog to show pacing because they, they need to be able to fulfil this behaviour is not being met. Social interaction. Dogs are social animals and they thrive when they are interacting with other dogs or humans. In the wild, though they don't interact with humans as much, they are in packs, and so they initiate social behaviours such as grooming each other, and this, if they can't do this, then this can lead to anxious and loneliness, which then can cause the dog to pace because they can't fulfil their engagement. Dogs are also known as animals that require a lot of exercise, such as jumping and running, because it helps them to express energy and helps to make sure they are physically healthy and emotionally healthy. If they're unable to express physical exercise, it leaves them having energy that then they can't express, and pacing becomes a way for them to cope. Hunting and chasing. Dogs have a strong prey drive. They hunt and chase after anything. This is instinctual behavior. It is vital for mental stimulation for them, and if they're restricted, it leads to frustration, and this can result in pacing if they are able to express this behavior. Thought of behavior. Why is it the cause? The thought of behaviour that can cause pacing would be physical exercise. Dogs have the natural instinct to run and play. No matter the breed or energy level, they all still require physical activity to maintain their health. Without exercise, the dog will have energy that builds up leading to frustration behaviours. This can result in pacing because they can't express the energy. Lack of physical activity then leads to boredom and anxiety. Dogs kept in confined spaces for long periods of time can feel restlessness and they will use pacing as a way to cope. It can also be a stress response. If a dog is anxious, pacing can be a way for them to show that they are uncomfortable with the situation. Why is it the cause? If dogs aren't physically active, they may pace as an alternative behaviour. It is repetitive and can temporarily help them express stress and anxiety, but it isn't a way for them to feel, feel what they need. If their needs are not met, dogs may pace as well as exhibit other behaviours to indicate that they are frustrated. If a dog wants to play and you take too long, they are telling you that their needs are not being met. Without regular exercise, dogs can develop behavioural issues like pacing. This can affect their mental well-being and bring physical issues including pacing which can then indicate a decline in their overall well-being. Why is it the primary cause? Without exercise, dogs are, can become unable to release their energy reduce boredom and calm their anxiety which can then manifest into pacing to help stop this issue it is vital the dog's exercise and mentally stimulated to address the needs that the dog needs and help to alleviate pacing evaluating the role of frustration pacing is a physical outlet that the dog will show when they're frustrated because they aren't able to meet the needs it can be a way to help them cope and it can be taken as a manifestation of agitation showing that the dog is distressed because it cannot fulfil its needs. Confinement. If a dog is confined in one place, it can lead to frustration because they can't move and express their behaviours. They can pace to alleviate their discomfort because they are unable to explore. Pacing can be seen in dogs that are anticipating something and if they are made to wait for an extended amount of time, it can lead to frustration and the dog can pace to express this impatience.
Dogs are social animals and frustration shows when they lack interaction with humans or other dogs. It leads to them feeling lonely and this deprivation can cause pacing to start because they want to engage and use this energy in a way to release it but they can't. It can become a reinforced cycle if the dog sees that pacing gets them the attention. It can learn to continue this behaviour because it knows how to get what it wants. However, it can lead into chronic pacing and it becomes a cycle of frustration. Chronic pacing can lead to the dog's health deteriorating because of stress, and it can cause more issues such as aggression. Overall conclusion. Frustration is a key factor in pacing in dogs because it comes from the dog's needs not being met. Understanding this is vital to deal with the dog's frustration, promote healthy behaviour and have an overall further and better quality of life. This is done by providing outlets of physical and mental stimulation, which can help reduce any pacing and any issues that could come along with it. Tim Berger's question, causation. The definition of this is it refers to the immediate triggers that lead to the behaviour. The analysis, the dog's need for exercise and physical activity comes from how the dogs have been made up biologically and psychologically. This is because dogs are from wolves. They are animals that hunt, run, chase, and this plays a part in them being able to survive and is driven by their energy levels. It helps with muscle development and behavior instincts. The dog is confined or can't ex exercise that a dog is unable to express its behavior, at least to frustration and pacing. Evolution. It is about how our behavior has developed over time through natural selection. The requirement for physical activity has evolved and the dog has had to adapt because of being from a pack of wolves and they are pack hunters and it means the dogs need for regular activity for survival and hunting for food. It's helped them to establish a social hierarchy and maintain the territory. Dogs are able to engage in this behaviour with better in finding food and successful in having young and passing their traits on to offspring. Dogs in captivity have still kept the need for exercise even though they are not able to use it to survive. They need to be able to express this behaviour or at least frustration which is then expressed through pacing. Enrichment strategy. Making sure dogs are regularly exercised and are mentally challenged helps to reduce abnormal behaviours. Exercise provides physical outlets to use their energy and this can be activities like running, throwing a ball, agility classes which can help to make, eliminate pent up energy and meet their needs for movement and reduce the frustration. Mental stimulation toys such as common and puzzle feeders engage the dog's minds, help them become focused and keeping them busy and reduces the need for boredom. Socialising and making sure the dog is socially able to interact with other dogs and people helps to fulfil their social engagement needs and play helps to strengthen the bonds. Having a routine to ensure they are able to be exercised helps provide the dog security and reduce anxiety because they know what to expect. How to deal with underlying behaviour. Providing regular activity addresses thwarted natural behaviours as dogs be able to engage in behaviours they have naturally perform, such as playing and running. Enrichment strategy helps to deal with frustration before it can develop by giving them a way to express the natural behaviours and likelihood of pacing increases. By providing activities to work their brain it helps to prevent boredom, which is significant contribute to pacing in dogs who are engaged mentally are less likely to feel anxious. Providing social opportunities such as taking dogs to classes with other dogs helps to fulfill social needs and reduces loneliness, making sure a routine also reduces anxiety which alleviates pacing. How to address the underlying behaviour. Having no enrichment strategies helps frustration before the behaviour develops. By giving them a way to express their natural behaviour, there is a likelihood that pacing decreases because they are being mentally engaged and prevents the boredom. Providing social opportunities and having a routine such as taking dogs to class with other dogs and food on schedule helps to fulfil social needs and reduces loneliness.